everybody, welcome to this video. My name is Reverend Martin and I'm one of the priests here at All Saints Church. Now I'm sure everybody will know me but if you're um, in reception and you've just started at All Saints School you probably won't know me. So let me remind you my name again, Reverend Martin is my name and I'm one of the priests at All Saints Church. Now you might also meet, I'm sure you will meet, Father Noel who's one of the other priests, and you might meet Reverend Caroline as well. And usually, every Tuesday, you would all come over, the whole school would come over to the church, and we'd have our time of worship together. And we'd think about God, and about the Bible, and about Jesus, and about how he helps us with our lives. But, we can't do that at the moment, um, because you're not allowed to come over to the church, because of, yes, you guessed it, coronavirus. <laughs> What we thought we'd do would be to make some videos for you that hopefully you can watch in your bubbles um, that will also help you. The way we start our uh, worship together when we're in church is we start by lighting a candle. And we do that to remind us that God is with us. Because when the candle flame is lit and it's flickering away there, it reminds us of God's presence. Because Jesus said that I am the light of the world. So... We're going to light our candle, and we always say something as we light our candle, something to do with God's presence being with us. So today we're going to say, if I can light my match, we're going to say, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. So say that with me. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Amen. So I'll pop the candle over here hopefully where you can see it and that will remind us of that. Okay, now I wonder have you ever been in a strange new place and had to learn strange new rules? Has that ever happened to you? Well I wonder whether having just started school if you feel like you're in a bit of a strange place and you've got to learn lots of new rules and lots of ways of behaving well, I want to read you a Bible story today, which might help us to think about these things and how we cope with them. Okay, And it comes from the Old Testament, and it's a story called God Saves Daniel. So here we go. I'll try and hold it up so that you can see it. Here we go. God Saves Daniel. Daniel lived in exile in the kingdom of Persia. But he loved God and prayed to him three times every day. Daniel's prayers made him wise. So the king trusted him and asked him for his advice. And this made Daniel's enemies jealous. They tricked the king into making a new law that forced everyone to pray only to the king and not to God. So that night, while Daniel was praying, his enemies spied on him. They ran breathlessly to the king and they said, Daniel prayed to his God and not to you. Arrest him. Now the king was very sad because he loved Daniel. But the king had to obey his own law. So they arrested Daniel and threw him into the den where the lions were kept. The lions paced back and forth, grumbling and growling and very hungry. May your God save you, the king said as a tear fell from his eye. Daniel prayed, and God closed the mouths of the lions. And at daybreak, the king hurried to the den. Daniel, Daniel, he called. Are you alive? I am alive. God saved me, Daniel replied. The king was amazed. That Daniel's God had kept him safe and commanded everyone in his kingdom to worship God. There we go. I hope you like that story. Now in the story, did you notice how the king was tricked into making laws and rules that really he didn't want to make? Things that he didn't really agree with, but he was tricked into making these laws. And poor old Daniel had to obey them, didn't he? And can you imagine being thrown into a pit of lions 
just for saying a few prayers to God. Imagine the lion's great big manes. Imagine the lion's great big claws. Imagine the lion's great big teeth. Imagine the lion's hot breath and their growling voices. I wonder if you can do a lion growling. Let's hear you. Terrifying. <laughs> but poor Daniel, he must have been so scared. But in the end, God's love for Daniel was more powerful than laws and more powerful even than lions. God made a way for Daniel to be saved and for the king to change his ways. Now when we go to school sometimes, it can feel a bit like being in the lion's den. It can feel a bit scary and a bit unknown. There are lots of people around. Some of the people are way bigger than us and we might be a bit scared of them and that's okay. Also, there are lots of laws and rules and things that you have to stick to, and it takes a little while to learn them, doesn't it? And even if we've been at All Saints for a long time, even if we're in our last year at All Saints, we've still got lots of new rules to learn because of, yep, you guessed it, coronavirus. But what I want us to remember today is that our school rules aren't like the bad laws in the story that I read to you. These school rules are there to protect us and to keep us safe. And when we all keep the school rules together, it helps us all to know that we belong. <coughs> but let's remember something else too. Let's remember what I said before, that God's love is more powerful than laws or lions or anything else. God's love is so powerful that it can save us no matter what. So don't worry and don't be afraid. When Christians pray to God and when we trust him, we're copying people like Daniel who prayed. And we're also copying, more than anyone, we're copying Jesus. And Jesus loved God, not just by keeping the rules, but he loved God with his whole heart too. That's why he's so special to us Christians. So I pray that your time at All Saints, whether it's just beginning or whether you've been there for years, I pray that your time at All Saints is full of fun and full of love and full of friendship and full of learning. And whenever you feel a bit scared, or a bit overwhelmed, or you don't understand the rules, remember that you can talk to someone, you can talk to your teacher, you can talk to your teaching assistant, you can talk to, uh, you can talk to Mr. Weber, you can talk to me or Father Noel, there's always someone you can talk to. And remember that you can pray too, and that you can trust God that he will keep you safe. So we're going to say a prayer now. So maybe you'd like to, if you want to, just bow your head and close your eyes and we'll say a prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, when I'm happy and when all is well, help me to trust you. Dear Lord Jesus, when I'm in a new place with new rules, help me to trust you. Dear Lord Jesus, help me to trust you every day. Bless you guys, have a great week and we'll see you again soon.